Marhaba wa sahla ya shabab. Hello guys and girls to the second part of this tutorial series and this part um, we will create the view app in the last part we um, let me just show you we just uh, deployed our, our API and set up the database and so we can access all of those stuff here like the swagger documentation for the API or for instance the endpoint uh, yes and as you might remember um, I mean the service was not I did not use it or send a request to it the last 15 minutes so it's spun down now it spins, spins uh, up again and uh, yeah just to be aware of this that the service needs a little bit uh, startup time so we will start a new view Tify project. You can go to the documentation and go through the steps here. But I will show you now in my terminal how to do it. So where's my terminal? Here it is. Great. First things first, we have to make sure we have installed the view CLI. So for that, just type here npm install minus g for global and then add view slash cli this might take a little while Yes, as you can see, I mean, I have already installed the few CLI. Don't know why it takes so long right now. Normally, it just should update some things, but okay. Uh, okay. Okay, yeah, in the meanwhile, I can just show you uh, um, how we will do this, how we will proceed. Then after that, we will, of course, check if everything got stored in, uh, properly. Then we will create a new Futify project with P NPM. It's, um, yeah, it's, it's, mo it's more, it's the per performant node package manager. It's a bit better. I mean, you could also use BUN, which should be also more performant, but I I, I have chosen PNP, PNPM because it's, uh, it's a little bit more battle-proof, I would say. I'm not sure if everything works with BUN to install things and so on. And yes, this is the things we will do, but we will not use Nuxt for this tutorial. Let me just check. Okay, some warning, some deprecation, that's okay. Uh, one package changed, 80, 857 packages got changed, okay. So now let's check view minus minus version. Ah, sorry, I just, no space in here. Okay, 5.0.8, okay, that's great. Other thing you where I could have done is uh, just this. Wait a second. Uh, view update minus g at view slash cli to update pack to update the packages cli. Let's check. Oh gosh, it's, I, I've I think I did. Uh, da, 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 da. Let me just check. Let me just check. Ah, sorry, it's not view update. It's npm update, of course. Sorry for that. Yeah, and this is quite f much faster than the, the last run. Okay, that's great. And now we have to just make sure we have the performant node package manager installed. 
Uh, I have, um, as you can see, a Mac, so I can use brew install p and pm. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is installed. On Windows, it's quite the same. It's like I think npm install minus g p npm. But check out my uh, view tutorial part two, view to five tutorial part two. There I have mentioned it here on Windows how you should do things. Uh, and yes, and if you are using uh, Linux, uh, Ubuntu, you, I'm pretty sure you will figure out how to use PNPM on your own. Okay, now let's create a new Futify project. So let's say P, just, wait, let me just clear everything and say PNPM. Create Futify. Now we need a project name. Okay. The project name I will give is task minus app minus beautify minus YouTube. Now we have to select the uh, preset to install. We will take the last one here because we will need Pioneer for caching stuff. So let's take the essentials and click on enter. Use TypeScript. Yes, because it's much better to use TypeScript than JavaScript if you ask me. Uh, yeah, dependencies we will use, as I said, PNPM, the one in the middle. So this will take a little while, I think now. Here you can see the progress. Okay, it's done. So we now should be able to navigate there. Just let me some generated like this. Nice. Copy the name. Say CD. Paste on the Okay, now we are there. Just let me just clear everything that you see better. Now what we need to do is to install all the dependencies. Again, p and pm, and then just say install. Already updated. Okay, this is already done. That's very nice. Now we should open the project. So I'm using WebStorm because I'm a JetBrains, uh, big fan of JetBrains IDEs. So let me just open, but you can use, for instance, Visual St Studio Code or Sublime Text or Atom, what you prefer as your editor, as your IDE. Okay, let me just check, just check WebStorm projects. No, 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 it's not there. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Mm -hmm. How are we recording? And there it is. Select and open. Okay. okay. Okay, as you can see, the README opens. Now things getting indexed. Okay. Yeah, this is by the way the README file. Just let load now. Let load everything in the indexing dependencies. Git ignore sonar lint analysis. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, it's finished. That's great. That's the readme. But the thing I want to show you right now is we have to go to package.json. Um, yeah, 
package of JSON is very important because here are all our dependencies and we will add more dependency to it. But now when we want to run a project, we always do PM, PM and then dev. And yeah, the thing is here is quite a lot of things we don't need or just makes our life harder. So we have to adapt it. So remove all of this. All of this gets now removed. And we just make sure you just have here as a key def and then uh, as the value beat. Okay. That looks good for me. So that's why here in the terminal, here I have other terminal. And now I can say pnpm def. Basically, here are all the, sh all the short commands. You always use pmpm and then dev, pmpm build, pmpm preview, pmpm lint. And this is how it works. Now just click here on enter. Now we can go to localhost 3000. You can just click on the link. Uh, yeah. Welcome to Vudify. I mean, uh, the first time the, the project gets generated, it takes a bit of time to also uh, load the development server. And yeah, this is now the, 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 the default settings, the default page when creating a new Vudify project. And yeah, that's quite it. Uh, I think I will now stop the tutorial and with the next in the next part we'll configure some more dependencies so yeah and catch me in the next one don't forget to like subscribe and write me some nice comments if you liked the video so see you guys yeah shabab ilalika